Hello world, I just wanted to put together a quick tutorial following this uh, support documentation. So there's just a visual reference of how it works and how to create a bootable installer for Mac OS. And in this case, I'm gonna be creating a bootable installer for High Sierra. And so of course you need to download High Sierra from the App Store. You need an Apple ID to do that. And then it needs to be in your applications folder so you can see it right there so that's the first step you need to do second thing of course is you need a usb uh, usb 3 is the best because it's the fastest and it only needs to be 16 gigs so right now you can buy these on amazon for about um, seven dollars they're very 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 affordable so this is Sandus one brand new. Plug it into my computer. And now I'm going to open Disk Utility. This is formatted Mato MS DOS, and so I need to change the file format on it to that of uh, to uh, of a non Microsoft but a, um, Mac OS. So first, I'm going to format it in MS DOS so that this is just good practice. Sometimes, if you try to go straight for Mac, it it fails, or a Mac file format or Apple file format. So now. That it's I've changed the format to MS DOS FAT32. I'm going to change it one more time to Mac OS Extended Journal. I'm going to leave the name of the volume untitled for now. Okay, that worked. Next, we can see um, that you have to replace my volume with the name of your volume. In this case, our volume has no name, so I'm going to change that to Mac OS. So now that's changed. And I can verify that the system's reading it as that by doing this terminal command df minus h. And There it is. There's the volume, 14 gigabytes right there. Volume is Mac OS. So I know the system's reading it as the name I just changed it to. Next, all I need to do is I can copy and paste this command um, into terminal. I think it's easier though to copy and paste it into a text editor first. So we'll do that here. You can see it above. And then all I need to do is change the name of my volume to Mac OS. Next, I'm ready to, so I'm going to copy this command onto the clipboard. And we're going to use this create install media Damien, which is a background program. It runs in the terminal. Clear this out. It's our command. Press enter to run it. Authenticate. Now it's going. So that's how we'll go ahead and pause this until it's done. So why this is copying, I want to say a couple more things. These bootable USB drives are really great for quickly re-imaging a Mac computer. And the way you do that is that you can um, turn off the computer, hold Command R, press Power. Once you get to the Apple screen, let go of Command R. It will boot into the recovery partition, at which point you can go into the disk utility, delete the primary partition, restart the laptop, do Command R again, or sorry, turn off the laptop, plug in the bootable USB drive, hold Option, press power and it will boot 
into um, into uh, a program that shows bootable drives. And there's where you'll see the bootable USB drive. And you can arrow over into that with the right arrow, press enter, and it will start installing um, Mac OS High Sierra. So that's how this works. And it takes about, on a MacBook Air in my test, it takes about 25 minutes if uh, the previous operating system was Mac OS High Sierra. However, if it was one before that, like El Cap or Yosemite or Mavericks, um, it takes about 30 minutes. This is about double the speed, depending on your internet speed anyway, of downloading the OS directly from Apple's server. So it's a really good solution if you're in a network environment where you have limited uh, bandwidth um, and you need to get a lot of these done. This is also something that like won't work on a caching server yet. So it's a really good um, low tech easy solution. I'm gonna go ahead and pause again while this installer file continues. Alrighty, we can see from the terminal printout that uh, the process is done. I'm just gonna read what it says. Uh, it erased the disk, it copied the installer files to the disk. The copy was complete, made it bootable, copied boot files, copy complete, done. And so now I can eject this disk. And you can see it says install Mac OS High Sierra. So it doesn't read what's used very well. Let's look at it in the terminal again, TF minus H. We'll show our disk. And now we can see that the volume is install High Sierra. And it's not, it won't read, that's interesting, it won't read how much is used. I wonder if we do a get info. It will tell us how much is used. It's misreading the free space. Hmm. Well, don't count on those space numbers. I'm guessing we know the install app was around six gigs. So again, uh, I'll link this documentation here so you can just run through it. And uh, that's how you create a bootable installer. Hope it helps. Thanks. Bye.